A few months ago, I read and reviewed Teacher in Training, the lowest ranked visual novel in the entirety of the visual novel database. At the time. Recently, VNDB updated their ranking algorithm which shuffled things a bit. Now, Teacher in Training is no longer at the bottom. That prestigious position now belongs to an eclectic little visual novel by a solo dev named Amy Roberts called Your Swimsuit Jumped Over Its Own Weathercock, You Liar. Yes, that's actually its name. Of course, I just had to read it. How could I not? Let's take a look. When you're dealing with visual novels at the very bottom of the list, it's typically pretty easy to see why they're there. If we take the previous worst visual novel, Teacher in Training, we see that it's ugly, poorly written, buggy, and caters to niche extreme fetishes that most people are quite frankly repulsed by. But if we look at Your Swimsuit Jumped Over Its Own Weathercock, You Liar, we see a technically sound visual novel that looks pretty good actually, and the H content is as vanilla as it gets. So what gives? Well, I think the visual novel's description might give us a hint. A questionably aero visual novel whose text is entirely driven by Markov chains with the exception of a few strategically placed ellipses. Story choices are also randomized, as is their effect on winning. If you aren't familiar with Markov chains, hold that thought. We'll definitely get into it. But before we do, let's quickly go over some of the less interesting bits. Visually, I like it. The background images were generic, but were used pretty well and I think they fit the project nicely. The heroine Miko-chan is great in my opinion. I think she's incredibly cute, has great facial expressions, and is generally a pretty solid piece of art. The soundtrack is pretty sparse, consisting of three songs, totaling less than three minutes of audio combined. It's not bad, but it is a little generic, except for the track Terrible, which I found to be kinda trippy and surreal. I was able to get the music from the game files directly, but I was not able to find any information on it, so I don't know who made it, unfortunately. It'll be playing in the background throughout this video, so make your own decisions there. On a technical level, Swimsuit is a pretty bog-standard and bug-free Renpai visual novel. At least I didn't encounter any issues in my playtime. Again, it doesn't seem like it deserves the bottom spot on VNDB, right? Well, those of you who've been paying attention to the footage on screen are probably yelling at me in the comments right now. What the fuck is all that bullshit in the text boxes? Looks like complete gibberish, doesn't it? And, uh, yeah, it kind of is. So here's how the story goes. It's very short, like a couple minutes long. It features a nameless protagonist of unknown gender and their love interest, Mikulchan. Yeah, that's literally all I can say definitively. That's because the rest of the story text is all procedurally generated. Remember those Markov chains from earlier? Well, that's complicated math shit, but the simple explanation is a model of weighted randomness in a sequence of events where the probabilities of each event are affected by the previous event. This is how old school language models used to work before the advent of chatbots and neural networks and all that fun stuff. Essentially, you can feed the program a bunch of writing and it can spit out gibberish in the style of that writing. If you've ever played around with the Postmodernism Generator, which is a decades-old program that generates fake postmodernist academic essays, that runs on a similar, albeit much more complex, principle. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's pretty fun. The algorithm used in Swimsuit is surprisingly simple. I actually took a look at the code myself, and though I'm not very familiar with Python, I do think I see what it's doing. From the looks of it, it pretty much just pulls from the seed data and spits it out so that each new word looks back at the previous two to try to make a similar group of three to what you would find in the seed data itself. So if you look at the text in the visual novel, you'll see groups of words that almost look like they make sense, but since it doesn't look back very far and there are basically no other constraints added to the text generation aside from length, the text will generally start out pretty rough and any semblance of logic will fall apart before long. Interestingly, there are actually three separate data sets that this visual novel pulls from. The protagonist's dialogue and soliloquy are sourced from Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, which is why you'll often see a lot of weird vocabulary throughout the visual novel. Miko-chan's dialogue is sourced from a transcript of the Azumanga Daio anime. And the dialogue choices are sourced from some random-ass series of listicles about things to do when you're bored. So the different text blocks do have distinctly different feels to them, though they are all equally incomprehensible. And it's worth noting that the text is regenerated with each playthrough, so every read is different from the ones before. The visual novel itself follows a few basic implied plot beats. There's the initial meeting with Miko-chan in the classroom, an encounter with her in the hallways, a conversation on the school roof, a conversation in one of their homes, and an H scene. You'll be seeing all that in the background of this video except for the H scene. Obviously, that's going to be too spicy for YouTube, though only barely. Miko-chan's breasts remain covered, and the genitals are heavily pixelated to the point where if you zoomed in, you wouldn't be able to tell what it was. Still, not showing it here. Each of these scenes comes with a choice between two or three options. 
The choices are not only randomly generated, but randomly ordered, so you may end up cutting your adventure short with what I imagine is a bad end, or you can continue to the next scene. If you make it all the way through and successfully H Miko-chan, you'll get an amusing little message from the developer congratulating you. All in all, the entire thing will last you a couple minutes tops. It took me three tries to get to the ending, and my entire recording is like 10 minutes long. This will not take up a significant portion of your day. So as you've probably gathered by this point, this visual novel is a massive shitpost. By design, it makes no sense, and if you take it seriously, you're the problem. So keeping that in mind, the question we need to ask is not, is it good, because it obviously fucking isn't, but is it fun? On a visceral level, I kind of enjoyed it. It was a strange and interesting experience, and the tonal fuckery between art which mostly plays it straight and text which is off the fucking rails was pretty funny. And because this VN is so short, that funny factor never got a chance to wear out its welcome. But at the same time, the algorithm they used to generate the text quite simply isn't very good. It needed more fine-tuning to be able to mimic the sentence structure of the seed data rather than just small clusters of words. The absurdity factor of reading this garbled text would have been much more entertaining if it at least kind of looked like real sentences. This also unfortunately kills any chance at replay value since it's actually a bit too incoherent and you can't really create any kind of fucked up headcanon y story to play around with, which is unfortunate. I do ultimately think it's worth checking out. It's free and incredibly short, so you don't exactly lose much by trying it. I think it's probably best experienced with friends while you're thoroughly inebriated. So yeah, this visual novel is fucking bad, but I'm not sure it really deserves that bottom spot. It's obviously not capable of holding its own against real visual novels, but I'd much rather reread this bad boy than something like Teacher in Training. I think there's genuinely some entertainment to be had here. Thanks for watching. Don't worry, the Kijuquo Rants video is still coming, I just had to take some time to experience this visual novel. Big thank you to my patrons, especially my god tier supporters, Bulk Swat Thrust and Michael Rotolo. Make sure to like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content. As I just said, I'm working on the highly requested Kijub Quo Rants video as we speak. With all that being said, thank you once again for watching and I'll see you next time. Play the Electro Swing. I hate ads.